wanna do this? This research is very important, Sheriff. Don't worry, Dennis. We'll catch you one. There's a good feeding spot up here with the currents meet. Sounds good. Why does this always seem like a better idea on dry land? Why the crocodile cross the road? To eat the chicken. You have a way of taking the fun out of things. You sound like my daughter. Remember, we're here to capture, not kill, not enter. As far as we know, there are only half a dozen of these crocodile creatures in all of planet Earth. There's more two-headed cats born every year. Oh, now we know that's not true. Point is, we kill one of them, even one. We're making the world a lonelier place. Are you buying this craziness? It's tree hugging bullshit. All right, let's get to it. Crocodiles? Normal crocodiles? They couldn't survive in these conditions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we get it. They're a damn miracle. You know, the miracle is that we haven't napalmed this place yet. My previous job used to be on the anti-preservation side of things. Fish and Game shanghaied me into this for one reason. Yeah, to make sure you didn't go to prison for poaching. Because I know how to blow these bastards to high hell if things go all ape shit. Treva, got one. in those elephant roofies seems like it did the trick jump into croc infested waters that's smart smart no fun fuck yeah You got what you came for? Five footer should do. Great. Then let's get the hell out of here. I spotted the footprints of something bigger down the shore. How much bigger? A lot. Work fast. Eat me. Let's get the hell out of here. 
had to be 20 feet long. You told me the biggest one was six feet, maybe seven feet at the most. Listen, lady, the first time I saw that thing is when I tried to bite our asses off. It's your job to keep tabs on them. It's a big damn lake. Look, none of my people saw anything that big while building the fence. Uh, what, your boyfriend gets a pass, but I don't? Max, wait by my truck. If I can stick my head into this lovely argument for a second. Let me guess, the Godzilla wannabe up there is even more miraculous and life-affirming than the rest of them, and we can't kill it either. No. But something important is happening here. A crocodile, a normal croc? No way it gets even 10 feet. He's right. I mean, the growth rate on these crocs is mathematically impossible. You want to contain this problem, Sheriff? You gotta find out the cause. Mutation, environmental factor, what? Think about that before you start shooting guns. There's, there's no need for shooting. That's what the fence is for. Keep crocs in, people out. Who has access to the lake? The four of us, a few more Army Corps people, EPA, fish and game. From now on, no one goes in or out without my say-so. I'm gonna call your boss, see if I can get him to take your leash off. Hey. Hey. Look, she's not my, uh... The sheriff, she is nobody's girlfriend. Sounds like your problem. Could we, uh, short-circuit this whole rebellious team? Authoritarian dad thing, please. I'm good. Now can I get back to work? Look at me. When this place was a glorified petting zoo, I was okay with you being here. Now with what we just saw. You're gonna tell those other guys that it's too dangerous for me to work out there? But not too dangerous for them? Okay. Finish your work and I'll, uh, I'll see you at home. Mom, come in. I'll oh, give it. Oh, don't tell me you're studying again. If you saw the reading list I just got from my lit professor, the ink isn't even dry on your diploma yet. Ease off the throttle a little. What do you have against having a good time? I slept in today. No, you didn't. I heard you typing on your computer when I left this morning. <sighs> I'm a little obsessive. <laughs> a little. <laughs> a lot. Come with me on a walk. I want some coffee. <laughs> My hands are tied. Um, bitch. What's his problem? 
Why does everybody think this is our fault? We've been here six months. Black Lake was lousy with the reptiles before I ever heard of the place. Mm -hmm. Hey, what can I get you? Hey, Barbara, the usual. Yeah, sure. Me too. Thanks. So I have a really great idea. Yeah? Yeah. What? Why don't you read for a couple of hours, you know, then we'll rent a movie, a foreign film, so you can still feel like you're reading. <laughs> Chloe. Yeah? Yes. What you said? So what's the first book on your list? Uh, Heart of Darkness. Heart of Dark. Oh, that's an even better idea. We can rent Apocalypse now. Mm -hmm. Here you go, lady. Thanks. We're not talking about boys. What? I don't want to talk about boys. I don't even have a boy to talk about. <laughs> really? Really? Whatever you say. <laughs> Chloe. Uh, this is my cousin Tina. Hey. Hi, Sheriff. Hey. Oh, wait a second. Isn't this your senior camping trip this weekend? Yeah, we're tagging along with Dylan Hikes. Our class is so small. I thought you were going. I'm not going. I thought I was making you go. Please make her go. OK, I got to go. All right? I order you to have fun, whether it's with me or your friends. Yes, ma'am. Love you. Make her have some fun. You really should come, Chloe. There's still room on the bus. Is Drew coming? Get Dennis his croc DNA so we can make us some money. Camp all set up? Yeah, just like you said. This way. How about the boat? Ready to go. We want those damn things dead. And yeah. you want to... To make the town safe. You swore up and down it was safe. But now we hear there's one of them 40 foot long. That, sir, was a gross exaggeration. This wouldn't have happened under Sheriff Willinger's watch. It did happen under his watch. That's why I'm here. We also have the Army Corps of Engineers here to build a fence to contain them. We're trusting the same Army Corps that built the levees in New Orleans. Listen, in the time I've been here, I've come to know a lot of you. The last thing that I would want is to put any of you in danger. The fence will hold. You have my word. I'm going to turn this over to our fish and game rep, Reba. Reba, can you enlighten us as to why we have to protect these creatures who've killed dozens of people? Look, when you put it that way, I'm, I'm going to get going. Reba, please. Look, I'd rather be harpooning them myself than, than babysitting them, but uh, they're the only ones of their kind. I mean, we kill one of them, even one. We're making the world a... What's the word I'm looking for? A lonelier place. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. Thank you. It's a late lunch. You almost won him over in there. 
Do my best. If they only knew you were lying through your teeth. You know what, Laughlin? I like you. I really do. <laughs> I think you're trying to build a 10-foot levee around a 100-foot swell, but, uh... You got a nice ass. That goes a long way in my book. Oh, don't worry, Barbie. I won't play with your Kendall too long. I mean, you made your claim on him perfectly clear. Might as well beat on him. You're a class act, Reba. I know. Enjoy your drink. We plan on it. Right, Loft? Loft. Loft. Sure. Wait up. Laughlin, I can't do this. Teresa. Have dinner with me, Maggie. No. I have plans with Chloe. No one would think less of you. Actually, they might. Come on. The whole town already thinks we're together. The fence is almost finished. There is no conflict of interest. I'm an elected official. And as you've pointed out, you're leaving town. If you don't like me, just tell me. <sighs> it's not that. Excuse me. I'm sorry, have a good night. This is the sheriff. Hey. hey. Heart of Darkness. <laughs> it's a great book. I mean, so I hear. I just started it. Who reads? Elaine says you might come with us. She did? She did. If you do, I'll give you the Cliff Nose version. Come on, Chloe. It's the last trip before the snow comes. No pressure. If you want to come along, we're leaving at 7. <laughs> Please come. Sounds like showtime, boys. You see anything, Dennis? Nothing yet. Yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. Yeah, kitty, 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 kitty. I'm the daddy, you fucking bitch. the same thing, isn't it? I take it you're going. Looks like you packed for college. Yeah, I brought a couple of books in case I get bored. <laughs> and there are chaperones. And you're camping at Clear Lake, right? Mm-hmm. And Elaine and her cousin know these friends of theirs? Yeah, they all met in juvie. <laughs> you're not going. OK, you can go. Probably the last time you'll ever have to sign one of these. Don't say that. <laughs> you want to stay and have some food with me? No, I've got to get going. Bus leaves in like 10 minutes. So, are we going? Mwah. I love, love, you. You. love you. See you later. OK. <laughs> this is great. Have fun.
Hey! Do you like, um, red wine and Kung Pao chicken? Who's out there? Dennis? Reva? Hey! Who's there? You guys didn't go on a class trip? We barely have a senior class. Small school. Do you have sports? We have a math team. Cool. <laughs> oh, baby. Let's look at you. Hit a deer. Keep your eyes on the road. <sighs> you sure we're going the right way? Lighten up, Chloe. We got everything to control up here. Look, it's not my first barbecue, okay? Just back on your seat. Sheriff, in the living room, with a wine bottle. Arrest me. <laughs> Polish that off, huh? <sighs> We're professionals, Ryan. So you pointed out earlier. Well, I'm glad you changed your mind. I didn't change my mind. We're just having some food. <sighs> you know what this says? It says you're gonna fall madly in love with me. <laughs> we're gonna get married. And we're gonna have 10 children. <laughs> it does not say that. It does. It does. Also says, have some more wine. Most people stay away from the lakes around here. No one cares. Quit being such a buzzkill, Zoe. Her name's Chloe. Do this. 
coach. Are you sure we're at the right beach? Everything's all right, Chloe. Come on, I'll be here the whole time. Try to have some fun. Okay. <laughs> you sure Max isn't waiting up for you? No. No, we stay out of each other's business. Uh, it used to be that I couldn't even go to the bathroom without him wanting to follow. But then he spent 15 years listening to his mother tell horror stories about me, so... No, we're not exactly the type that wakes up for each other. And I'm guessing that you did the same thing with your kid. Goes with the territory. <laughs> It'll leave in a few weeks. Yeah. So they're laying there kissing, and he pulls his face away from hers, stares deeply into her eyes. And that's when he ate her face! <laughs> but don't worry, honey. The skin eater only eats virgins. <laughs> I'm good. I've got a story. A true story. Hey, Blondie, mine was real. There was this old lady, Mrs. Bickerman. She lived on a lake not far from this one. She and her husband, they had a farm. Loved animals. Probably too much. So when a crocodile swam up the river from the ocean, she started feeding it. It got big, like dinosaur big. Let me guess. He ate her. My story was much better. <laughs> well, first it ate her husband. It was years before anybody found out, but when they did, more people started to die. Bickerman, her sister, a dozen others. Okay, can we uh, talk about something else? This story is totally freaking me out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, let me tell you a really nice story. Are you okay? Yeah. Why? I don't know. You just seem a little nervous. I'm sorry. It's just being on the lake kind of creeps me out a little. Your mom's a sheriff, huh? Yeah. My, uh, my grandpa was a homicide detective. Is that what you want to do? <laughs> no way. I don't know what I want to do yet. I like books. Librarian? I was thinking journalist. I'm gonna get an MBA, start a business. I wanna retire by the time I'm 35. Ambitious. I mean, I know it sounds cocky. No, 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 ambition is good. None of the guys at my school had any drive besides get high and get laid. Chloe, do you want me to leave the flashlight on? I'll be right there. I better go. You gotta go? 
Yeah. For old time's sake? What about Chloe? She's asleep. Toilets, and you realize that the better. Perv. Ah, oh, honey, our first fight. And bite me. Sheriff. Has anybody seen Gus? You mean creepy bus driver guy? Maybe he went for a hike. <laughs> It's go time, bro. Yeah. Who wants to be my co-pilot? Not me. I have serious plans to do nothing. <laughs> what about you, Chloe? <laughs> I... All right, bitch. Sure you will. Skank. <laughs> she does have a great ass, though. Hey, Sheriff. What do you got? Well, I made a loop last night around Sir Seven, and the gates were closed then. Max was still working. 
Now, when I came by at 8 this morning, wide open. Who was the last one to see Max last night? Well, that was Jake Forrester. He's one of the local contractors. He said that when he drove out of here, he saw that Max was f f filling up his car. Well, he must have seen someone inside. Why else would he open the gate? Hey, I got your call. What's going on? Max is missing. hours old. The trail leads this way towards the water. Let's go. Chloe. What happened to you? No time to explain. We gotta go. <laughs> Chloe, look. We're inside the fence. This is the wrong lake. Yeah. We have to get out of here. Wait. I'm with a bunch of friends. Throw me one of those.
Max! You're not gonna want to see this. It's not him. Thank God. That's gonna be a lot of paperwork. A sick fuck, you know that, Laughlin? It's not the weirdest thing I've ever seen, but it's on the list. What is it? It's a spinal column of another croc. They really are eating each other. No, the little one crawled up the big one's ass. We knew that putting up the fence would limit their food supply, but we didn't think it would get this bad. They must have run out of deer. <sighs> Gotta find Max. I don't know where she is. What the hell just happened? We're at the wrong lake. Understatement. Does anyone have their cell? Everything I had is back at the camp. Me too. Oh, this is crazy. This is crazy. We have to get back to the gate. It'll be faster to go back to the camp, get the bus from there. Back to the camp they just tore apart? I got away from them once already. No, absolutely not. Uh, not going back there. Fine, then we follow the fence. Head south. Wait, wait. there's a the fence? Can we climb it? The fence is electrified, and it surrounds the entire lake. Is there are only, what, three gates? Two, north and south. I'll get us back to the gate. Whoa. That ain't great. How many do you think are out here? When we started work on the fence, we barely see any. Maybe one every three weeks. Recently, a lot. And this is some kind of nature preserve crap. How do we end up here? The gate was left open. Our parents have got to be looking for us already. So find us before we walk another mile. What is it? Does anyone else smell that? Someone's cooking. Last night, I opened the gate because I heard someone inside the fence. Poachers, maybe. Poachers have guns. The gun sounds good to me right about now. You okay?
Chloe, you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Hang on, I'll get you out of there. We gotta cut the power on the fence. Uh, bad idea? Unless you want to use the entire population of Lake Placid as bait. She's right. Without the voltage running through the fence, it's not gonna hold up long to something that big. We cut the power, the kids can climb out. Then we can put it back on. Yeah, well, the kids won't know the power's off. There's no way they'd climb over the fence. I'm with the lieutenant on this one. I've seen what happens when these things go off psycho reptile. We need more eyes out here. And guns. What's the name of that bartender friend of yours? Seth. You ever go hunting with him? Yeah, sure. He even shoots decent for a dude. Deputy Glass. Copy, Sheriff. Get Seth and Sharky on the horn. Tell them that crocodile season has officially opened. You got it, Sheriff. I'm all over it. sign, Laughlin. Yeah, I'll get right on that. You weren't gonna let me back in. I didn't have a choice. What did you do? I had some some loose ends to tie up on my project. What kind of loose ends? Just samples by the old Vicar McCabot. What were you thinking after what you saw yesterday? It was worth the risk. You tell yourself that the next time you try and sign your name. Yeah, and Jack and Off's gonna be a bitch. Look, he's gonna bleed out. We gotta get him help. Right, let's get you in the fence.
World War III with some man-eating frogs. I'm a fabulous time. <sighs> This is not going to look good on my resume. Thanks. So Hope is on the way? Hope is here. You just have to find us. anything it's the boat key it's got to be nearby where it's parked in his driveway we've already wasted enough time let's get back to the fence would we'll be easier to find from the lake I'm not going back on the water I say we go for the boat That's a bitch. Now what, genius? found a key back at the camp. Can you swim back here and get it? Well, I, I don't think I could make it back uh, back to the boat here. I tore up my leg here pretty nasty. One of us has to go. Are you kidding? According to your shirt, you're a fast swimmer. No way. We, we can't just leave him. Of course we can. Hey, girls, I got guns. Dennis, is he okay? Tell you what, we come out here, and I'll tell you all about it on our way out of this dump. Come on in. Water's just fine. Screw it. I got you covered. Come on now. should be thanking you. You saved all our lives. This is a mistake. 
We should go back to the fence. Can't you get any closer? No, no, no. Not unless you want to carve a hole in the hole. Besides, I'm not too keen on being crocked out. We'll cover you! Come on! It's our only chance! Fuck this. Chloe? Come on. You're in tone. Can't go in the water. Come on! The place is crawling with crocs. Don't leave me. Chloe, come on! I'm so sorry. Come on, Chloe! Come on. Like a little mint, huh, sweet cheeks? You sure? Hmm? Made it myself. Well, let's motor this boat out of here, huh? I didn't even want to go on a stupid trip. No, they're never going to let me check books out of the library again. I left library books back in the bus. I think I'll understand. The librarian is such a bitch. What were you reading? Heart of Darkness. Lame. You didn't like it? Nothing happens in it. It's too bad you lost it. You could have read it to the Crocs. Bored them to death. <laughs> hey, Jim, where are you taking us? <laughs> Heading for the gate. What do you mean? No, you're not. I haven't got what I come for yet. Need a little more line here, Max. Wouldn't it be faster to tie up at the dock? Oh, trust me, you don't want to go near that dock. You said you were going to get us out of here. And I will. But you're not the only one I made a promise to today. Dennis? No shit, Sherlock. Oh. Either you drive us to the gate, or I will. Drew, put the gun down. Shut up, Chloe. 
son. As if you got the stones to pull that trigger, boy. There's a cabin up the road. The Bikaroon place? My rendezvous with your buddy Dennis. No way you're a scientist. Only other reason for you to be here is as a poacher. And Dennis wouldn't allow that. Well, sometimes money's a lot more powerful than integrity, honey. You've paid him to let you in? You're a smuggler. The crocodiles are rare. The only ones of their kind. Rare means expensive. All right, you got me. I'm a greedy old fart. But right now, I'm just trying to save Dennis's sorry tree-hugging ass. It'd be a hell of a lot easier if I had a little help, kids. So what do I need to do, huh? Pay you? Because I'm, I'm about to become a rich boy. <laughs> yes, sir i I'm gonna hit the jackpot. You with me? Giddy up. Dennis, don't make me regret paying you in advance. Mrs. Berkman wasn't a very good housekeeper. Hey! There's no way to talk about the dead, son. Whatever. You hear me, boy? Huh? Huh? Get inside. All of you, everybody inside! a whack job. You think now's the time to curl up around the fire? That man just pulled a gun on me. Ernest, you pulled a gun on him first. My parents are out there. They just don't know where to look. Chloe, you're a genius. Yes. 
just needed one of those brats to get me out of this shithole. Chloe? Max? Has anybody seen Chloe? Oh, Tina. Tina, where's Chloe? I don't know where Elaine is. Or Chloe. Sheriff, you've got to find him. Yeah, we're doing the best we can, okay? <sighs> I'm sorry, Sheriff. Call came in, there was only survivors. We've been up and down the perimeter twice. If Chloe's still inside, she's not by the fence. Come on, let's go. Hey, don't lose I'm it. I'm not fucking losing it. Uh, it looks like you're losing it. I don't know what the hell to do. I take it that's an unusual feeling for you. You know what I think? I think you gotta quit your navel gazing and your soulful eye banging with G.I. Joe over there and do your damn job. You are the most by the book, stick in the mud bitch I know. The kind who wouldn't let emotions get in the way of what she had to do. That is who is gonna find Chloe. So be her again. Let's go check Bickerman's cabin. Bickerman, I hate that rat box. I hope they see the smoke. We should go. If he's telling the truth, if Dennis is meeting him here, we can't leave him. Listen, Max, sometimes we can leave people behind. That means saving our own asses. Not everybody has abandonment issues. Do you think this place has a bathroom? It smells like it does. Guys, Another way out of here. Elaine, we're gonna get you some help, honey. Yeah, I'm worried, dick kid. Hey, you find Dennis? Dennis is dead, kid. Who's this? He's a poacher, Jim Bickerman. I saw the picture of you with your mother, Dolores and Jimmy, 1960. Oh, you're the nutbag cousin. With all due respect, Miss Fish and Game. 
I'm the son of a bitch that saved these brats. Nutbag. Is that what they're calling me back in town now? No, that's what I'm calling you. Nathan Bickerman owned this cabin, and before he skipped town, he told me that his cousin was suing him for it. You're not honestly pissed because you didn't inherit this shit house, Jimmy. Can I call you Jimmy? Jimmy, the way I see it, not leaving you this place is about the nicest thing anybody could ever do for your crazy ass. You tie that thing up? Uh, Dennis did. I sort of helped. Yeah? What'd you do that for? Whatever, let's just get out of here. You don't want a full confession? Maybe you have changed. <laughs> Now, that was some kind of fun, huh, folk? Listen, I, I'd love to just uh, hang out here and chat with y'all, but Max, you're coming with me. You let him fall. Excuse me, Daddy. I'm not going to get very far with just one wheel here. I need this tough guy to help me along the way. Uh-uh-uh. Wouldn't do that. He'll be dead before you pull that trigger. Max, I'll be okay, Dad. You're a dead man. I only got one gear left here. when they kill the big ones.
Your babies are omelets now. <laughs> follow you to the hospital, honey. You okay? Yeah, I'm gonna get her checked out. Mom, I'm fine. God, I just need a move long nap. <laughs> I'm never, ever taking your advice again. <laughs> That's probably a good idea. We've spent most of our life apart. I don't need this feeling speech. Okay. <laughs> no feelings. I'm just glad you're not dead. Be right back. thinking the fence thing was a bad idea. <laughs> I can definitely confirm that it was hard to escape from. Hey. Don't let that librarian give you a hard time. I won't. I'm going there tomorrow to beg forgiveness. People don't change, Ryan. And I don't really think that they need to change. I don't want you. I don't want you to stay here because of me. If you are happy building levees and fences, then you should go do that. And um, just come back here <laughs> once in a while. I was thinking of getting a library card. Maybe I'll see you there. Yeah. I'd like that. Welcome home, you handsome prick. Rise and shine, Lake Placid. Hey, how you doing? And good morning. It's 86 degrees on the water with blue skies for as far as the eye can see. And guess what? The Army Corps of Engineers has assured us that we are now crock-free on Clear Lake. How about that? 100% crock-free. So put on your bikini, slather on that sunscreen, pack a cooler, and come on out for a dip. We'll see you in the water. Ah!